So right now I am standing on Soledad Canyon just east of Sand Canyon and I am joined with Darren Sigmiller, Project Development Coordinator with the City of Santa Clarita. Uh, Darren, a couple months ago we talked about this new improvement project on Soledad Canyon. Where are we now with this? Right now, uh, we have completed the first phase of the Soledad Median Refurbishment. Basically, this project, uh, it's a four and a half mile stretch of, of landscape medians that currently exist in the Canyon Country area on Soledad between about where the, uh, where the library is, uh, going east all the way to Shadow Pines. Um, the first phase uh, began just east of Sand Canyon and kind of works down to about a quarter mile. Um, you can see that the uh, the project uh, has replaced the shrubs and the irrigation system and where we've needed to we've installed new trees. Uh, a number of trees uh, were unhealthy and, and needed to be removed so we, we took those out and uh, replaced them with new trees but where possible we've left in the, the mature trees uh, to kind of give it that, uh, that feel of, of maturity uh, that, that the residents like. And what, what we're seeing now too, I think as we talked last time, is there used to be a lot of different types of medians throughout the city and there were some that are particular to you know, Saugus or Valencia and Newhall. Um, kind of the effort now is to make more of a uniform uh, a decision when we when we build these things so it gives Santa Clarita more of a unified look. Yeah, what we'd like the the idea that we have is that we would like the medians in the city of Santa Clarita to be kind of a, a unifying ribbon that runs through the city. Right. Um, so that there's a, a common theme uh, with the medians, uh, with the planting palette, uh, with the tree uh, species and things of that nature. Um, the the medians that we have on the west side of the valley have been very popular, the residents like those. And so what we're trying to do with this project and with other projects that will be coming up is to uh, bring the rest of the medians throughout the city of Santa Clarita up to that same standard. So you'll see um, this is going to be very similar to medians that you might see on Valencia Boulevard. Well, And, and you mentioned too though that the, the medians before, because I think some people drive by and if you're driving by very quickly you say, well, why are we doing this? There were medians there before. So, I mean, they, they do need to be have upkeep and they do need to be retrofitted and with the irrigation. So, I mean, this, this project really was necessary. Absolutely. There's a number of reasons why this project was necessary. Um, one of the main reasons was the irrigation system. Uh, the current, the, the irrigation system that was that was in place uh, was uh, damaged and, and had some, some inefficiencies that we were spending a lot of time and effort and money uh, repairing. Um, that's, that's one reason. Uh, the, the irrigation system that we're installing is much more efficient. Um, it's uh, much more um, able to withstand, you know, years of service, um, and also the in, another reason is is the planting uh, palette. You know, the plants uh, they don't last forever. They you know they get older and and at times need to be replaced. So we're kind of taking a proactive approach of of you know since we're in here replacing the irrigation system you know and the plants have have been here for quite a while it's a good opportunity for us to modify the the planting palette okay and this is what's known as a landscape maintenance district um, and explain how that funding works does it come out of the general fund are all taxpayers paying for this uh, talk about how that works okay this uh, the funding for this project comes from the landscape maintenance district as you mentioned uh, these funds were voted on and approved by the voters in uh, 2008 and then uh, again in 2009 with an expansion of that zone so the funding for uh, medians and the landscaping and medians and the maintenance of those medians can only be used for that purpose. It cannot be used for anything else, uh, for you know, parks or for any other purpose. It, it has to be used um, in the medians for the landscape maintenance and that's how the voters approved it. And one of the other benefits of this besides them just need, needing to be replaced and the importance of beautifying them besides just sort of quality of life driving by, by them is it also enhances property values. Absolutely. You know there this uh, this really shows, you know, when someone comes into uh, the valley to uh, to look to uh, invest or buy property or buy a home, you know, how we maintain the the medians, it really has an impact on on property values and, and on people's perception of the city of Santa Clarita. You know, we really have done a great job. The council has done a great job of placing an emphasis on on beautification of our of our public rights of way, and uh, this is just one uh, you know piece of evidence of that. Okay, and um, just real briefly, uh, so what's the timeline of this? What's build out? When are we going to be done with uh, this work? Okay, uh, the portion of the project that we're standing in front of now uh, 
is the first phase. Uh, this phase will continue on uh, to Shadow Pines in the eastward direction. Um, when they complete everything east of, of Sand Canyon, they'll move to uh, the western, the medians on Soledad west of Sand Canyon. Those will be completed at night. Uh, we'll be, we expect that the project will be completed uh, late this fall, maybe this winter, uh, but before the end of the year. Darren, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, that's the story from Canyon Country and the new median repairs. Uh, for this week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.